Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for the uh, second half of your July from the 16th to 31st. This is going to be for Pisces. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. And what else do you guys need to know, look out for, work on here. So apply this to your own unique situation, okay? You may switch roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Pisces people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link to that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, you guys, okay? So tell me about Pisces here. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces here. What is going on with Pisces in love? The person that Pisces is connecting with here in love for the second half of their July from the 16th to the 31st, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What's going on with Pisces in love and the person that they are connecting with here? For the second half of their July from the 16th to the 31st, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. We have the Nine of Swords here and the Nine of Cups. Okay. We have the Six of Cups here and the Ten of Cups. Okay. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is losing sleep over you here, Pisces. Someone here is losing sleep over someone. You could be losing sleep here. So just apply this to your own unique situation. But I just feel like someone here is losing sleep over missing somebody here. Missing someone a lot. Missing this relationship a lot. I feel like someone here is dreaming about this relationship. Okay? Um, yeah, whoever this is, I feel like there's a sense of missing someone. Wanting to some wanting someone to come back or wanting to go back to someone here, wanting to make peace here, wanting to uh, you know apologize, looking for forgiveness here. Okay, um, you know one of the things I'm getting here is I, I feel like someone here felt very safe with someone, but I feel like someone's insecurity, someone's anxiety, someone's stress, someone's depression here really got in the way of this relationship here. Yeah, it just really kept them. It just kept it kept in the it kept kept them in a space where they just couldn't give to this connection here. This person was just really in and out. I feel like this person was really stuck in their ego here. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy could be dealing with a Sagittarius here. You might have Sagittarius in your chart, but I feel like someone here is really realizing their mistakes here. They're also realizing that, or that they're also seeing that their insecurities, their pain, their hurt, their stress and anxiety really caused a lot of this here. It's not, you know, I mean, it, it, I mean, I, I could see someone here pointing, uh, uh, pointing fingers and, uh, you know, blaming someone here. But you have to understand the, the, the reason why that this happened is that this person has not deal with their grief, their pain and their hurt here and their trauma. And it's coming out and it's manifesting in a way where, yes, this person's taking things out on you here. OK, temperance. Why is temperance here? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy could be dealing with the Sagittarius here. But someone here is really wanting you back here, Pisces. Let's see. I don't know what where you stand in this here, but let's take a look. I feel like you don't have anything to give to this person anymore. I feel like you've given enough. Uh, tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Pisces? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Pisces for the um, second half? Of their July from the 16th to the 31st, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. We have the world card in the reverse. Whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's having a hard time moving on from you. They can't let you go here, Pisces. They have unfinished business here with you. Queen of Pentacles. 
I mean, it, it could be an indication that you're having a hard time letting this go or that you're ha having a hard time letting the go of the pain or the hurt or the heaviness of the pain and the hurt that this person has caused you here okay maybe both of you guys are missing each other or that you guys are missing uh you know the good times here uh we have the uh four of one uh four swords here in the high priestess cancer pisces energy one of the things i'm getting is that pisces you could be in this energy of like yeah i want this person back but it's also a sense of like you know what i also know better too i know better Queen of Cups here and just, yeah, I know better here. I learned my lessons here. Or that I am learning my lessons here. Maybe it could be a situation that's taking you a while to learn this lesson, but I feel like you're finally learning it here. Okay? The wheel, uh, the world's in the reverse here. We have the Ten of Swords. Tell me the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. I just feel like when this ended here, I do feel like, you know, you really went through some major growing pains here. Yeah, some major growing pains here. And I feel like you've overcome this growing pain. Okay, because it seems like you leveled up here. I do feel like this is you. Yeah, this is you, Pisces. Empress, Libra, Taurus here. Four, four swords, three of cups. The Empress here and the King of Cups. Okay. You know, I feel like one of the Kings and Queen of Cups here, one of the things that I'm getting here is I feel like you're out there meeting new people here too. I mean, this could be an indication that, you know, you might have met someone new or someone new is coming to your life or you have a very strong spiritual connection with this individual here. Queen of Cups and the Queen, King of Wands. Oh, you know what? I, it's the same person here. Just kidding. I'm sorry. Yeah, just kidding. With the King to the Queen of Wands, King to the Queen of Cups, true pairs here. Justice and the Two of Pentacles. Seems like someone here is definitely trying to reunite with you. You're definitely, you know, ignoring this person. You're not talking to them here. But I feel like, you know, I feel like you're trying to kind of weigh in the pros and the cons. I feel like you're struggling with this decision to finally cut someone out. But I do feel like you will. I do feel like you will, Pisces. All right. What else do we have here for Pisces? Outcome and advice. What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to look out for? For the second half of their July from the 16th to the 31st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. We have a Page of Wands here and the Nine of Wands. Whoever you're dealing with here, Pisces, this is a very wounded individual. You know, it's not showing here. I'm all, almost getting a sense that this person's needy and codependent or that this person cannot live without you. You got to keep in mind, you know, you are capable of li living without somebody, y y you know, it's just that we have to go through that adjustment period, you know, you got to keep it in, you know, got to put it in perspective because, you know, you were living fine before you met this person, you were doing well, you know, so I just feel like there needs to be a little perspective here. With the Ace of Wands here and the Four of Wands, you know, this could be an indication that there's someone else out there for you. Yeah, you might be dealing with a twin flame or something like that. This could be a past like soul connection here too. Six of Pentacles here and the Hermit. Yeah, one of the things I'm getting here is that Pisces, you know what? I'm really going to invest my healing here. I'm going to invest my he healing so that I don't go through the same thing again. So that I don't attract this person again here. Set Page of Wands and the Seven of Swords, the Magician and the Nine of, uh, Nine of Wands here. I do feel like this person's de definitely trying to manipulate their way back into your life here. Four of Wands here and the Two of Cups. The Ace of Wands here and the Eight of Wands. You're definitely receiving communication from this person. Yeah, you're definitely receiving communication from the per this person. You could have, I mean, you could have... I feel like, you know, I, I, I do feel like some, you know a lot of you guys block this individual here, but I feel like this person's definitely trying to come back in trying to show you that they they made some changes here they've done they, they they've done some healing work here yeah but like i said you've blocked this person so even though if this person tried i feel like this person can't get into contact here with you all right so pisces i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i will speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye